<laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> Spare my life. I have a sucking baby at home. <laughs> Let me go and breastfeed him. Please. Shut up, woman. <laughs> you think that this place is a prayer house when you come to pray or ask for God's help? <laughs> Let me tell you something. We are professionals. <laughs> and we are strictly on business. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> so you had better start <laughs> with me. Because if you don't, I am going to squeeze life out of you. I am going to make your life so painful <laughs> and miserable <laughs> that even the devil himself will shatter. And trust me, I am going to curse the day your wretched mother brought you into this world, screaming morning and gasping for bread like you. <laughs> Listen to me, man. Shedding these crocodile tears of yours is not going to deliver you from me because I don't give a hook about your grief stricken, miserable face. Do you understand? <laughs> Oh. oh, do you mean? What do you want? I told you my husband traveled to United Kingdom three days ago. There is nobody to pay my ransom. And who says that we want your ransom? You are all that we want. And we have you. Period. What do you mean? Save your breath. Very soon, very soon, you will understand. So you're behind all this. I was married to Chief Ejiro for six years before you came. And now, you want to inherit everything. What are you talking about? You will soon know what I'm talking about. I was told by my diviner that you were the one that tied off my womb. And he told me that you are the person that will untie me. So, if you want your freedom, you better start talking now. Because these boys are mean. They will not take it light with you at all. <coughs> Heaven knows my hands are clean. <coughs> Linda, how could you imagine such wickedness? <coughs> you know I can't do such a thing. <coughs> Have you forgotten so fast? <coughs> We share as one family. I am done with that poisonous love of yours. You pretend you love me, yet at my bed you stab me. And consider yourself as childless as I am now, because by the time Chief will come back from his trip, he will hear the story of how his son and his daughter disappeared into the thin air. Linda, what are you talking about? Hey! Linda, don't send those children. Don't kill those children, Linda.
Yes. The operation must be carried out with light. The kids are fast asleep. I've taken care of the gatekeeper. But there is a problem. I can't find the keys to the main gate. You will come through the gate of the backyard. I will personally open it for you. When you come, take the two of them. If you like, bury them alive. You can throw them into the river. I don't care. All I want to hear is a gaboo. This room. They ask me. You want to see her for yourself? Oh my, oh my. She better don't play with us. She better don't, she better don't play with us. Make I tell you something. She no fit. In fact, she no fit. You don't hear me so? She no crash. Now me. Now me be Jimmy. Now me be Jimmy. And nobody fox with a desperate fate. You don't hear me? I'm very sure of what I'm talking about. Those kids, you are fast asleep on this very bed. So what do you mean, madam? You said they were fast asleep on this bed. So where are they now? Where are they? What is actually going on here? We better start searching for them now. Listen, woman. We are professionals. You don't feel me? I said, we are professionals. Make you not play with me. You don't hear me? I said, make you not play with us. We are professionals. How can I play with you? Does one play with fire? I am the one who needed this job done. So why are they mess up with us now? Believe you me, those kids were asleep on this bed. The time I called you guys on the phone. Okay, so the trains you know say they don't disappear, Abby. They don't turn to end. So how all I need to go up here? Oh boy, oh boy. Maybe that little smart Nancy was not actually sleeping. Maybe she overheard me talking to you guys on the phone. Yes. In that case, boys, we are going to ransack this house. I mean, we go search every nook and crannies of this house. Better. Until we grab those calibers. Yes. You don't feel me so? It's better that way. We are going to get them.
you will take no save these children there in this backyard? It is only this door that is open here. I personally opened it for you guys to come in. All that door here, they are all locked. So I'm sure they must be in this backyard. It's all right. I want you to keep an eye in this compound. Be mindful of the gate as well. So my boys and I, we are going to go outside to search for them. So I want you to search this place thoroughly. Search the cars, even under the cars. Why my boys and I will go outside to look for them. Boys, let's move it. My boss Jimmy says she keep her balance ready. Once we come back, don't hesitate to hand it over to us, okay? That is not a problem at all. Let me follow you and lock the gate. It's not supposed to be open by now. Madam Linda, please go in and get us our balance. Jimmy, why are you sounding like this? Does it look like I want to eat your money? Then go and bring it. The job has not been done. You failed your own part of the bargain. Your job was supposed to make sure that the kids are in here and to keep the gate open. But our own part of the deal is to risk our dear lives to come in here and pick up the kids. And that we have fulfilled. But the kids are nowhere to be found. That should be your problem, not us. You better go and get us a dodo now. Madam, comply. Time no day, time no money. Madam, Jimmy. You know I can give you twice your balance. But that is not the point. The point remains that the job has not been done. And who's supposed to be? Nobody's. Those kids were even inside this compound. The time you guys left to look for them outside. They just left this compound a couple of minutes ago. How do you know that? I personally locked that gate when you guys left. But when I came back, the gate was wide open. And the gate man was still under the influence of the sleeping pills. 
Are you serious? Believe me. In that case, they must be very close. So we have to go out and get them. Guys, let's move. She look after the children. I waited for her till uh, 9 p.m. and she didn't come back. Some men came here and told me that they saw kidnappers hijacking her, leaving her car behind. I waited till this morning for an official report, only to discover that the children who slept with me in this house are no more here. Did the abductors steal anything from her? They didn't steal anything from her. I was the one that personally brought her car here and all her belongings, they were intact, including, including those things she had gone to buy. You said you slept with the children in your room? Yes, no. I slept in theirs, I slept in mine, though um, I checked on them at around 11 p.m. So who else was in this compound as at yesterday? My gatekeeper. The house helps and the laundry man. So where are the house helps and the laundry man? Garuba. Yeah, ma. Go and uh, call the house helps and the laundry man. Yes, ma. Be fast. about the disappearance of the children? Huh? I didn't know anything. I closed work around 5 o'clock in the night. And I came to work around 8 o'clock. I didn't know anything about the children's disappearance. So. Uh, what about you? Oh. So we went home together and come this morning. So I didn't know anything. No. Uh -huh. now oh. my, so I only wash in the way I do for this house. The only washing in the house, I I closed work for 5 o'clock. I don't do anything. So you can go back. Yes. So what do you know about the disappearance of these children? How about one lie here, police? One lie to lie me, I, before I sleep and I lock them for my gate far. One lie here, sleep I sleep and one lie I never sleep and before. One lie here, before I wake up my gate, I don't open. I ask them for madam, madam, they tell me pick and don't miss. One lie here, that's what I think it happened. Madam, I'm sorry. He is our prime suspect. We are taking him to the station for further questioning. Huh? Officer. Sir. Move him. Sure, sir. Move. Sergeant, Madam, leave my gatekeeper out of this. I have an offer for you. An offer? You had me right. Good morning, my dear. How are you? Fine. Divine, take this letter to our class. Find a way of giving it to either Joshua or Caleb. Nancy, are you not going to come to school? I'm not going to come. Just take this letter to either Joshua or Caleb. Tell them to meet behind Uncle Sam's shop. I am waiting for them right now. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye. Good morning, Good morning, Nancy. This is very authentic. We had a report 
that Nancy Adria is missing. She was kidnapped by yet to be identified men last night in their family house. So if peradventure any of you hears any news about her whereabouts, please do not hesitate to inform us so that we can inform the family. The stepmother just left the school. Am I understood? Yes, ma'am. Good. You can now bring out your social study notebook. At once, I will permit you to go outside the school gate. It's not yesterday. On my way to this market, I left in the night. I couldn't sleep. I was disturbed. I noticed some strange behaviors on my stepmother. I followed her closely. I heard her telling the kidnappers to kill my mom. My brother and I, maybe they have killed my mom. I had to run away with the baby. <laughs> Deliver us anytime we cope our troubles. Please come and save me and my little brother. Our parents are not at home, but we know that you are our heavenly father and your eyes are over us. Please, Father, come and save us from this danger. In Jesus' name, Amen. Stop crying, Nancy. Kidnappers don't kill, they don't kill. They only ask for money, but um, who was your dad when all these were happening? Eh? My daddy traveled to the United Kingdom on Monday. No wonder. Stop crying, Nancy. We have come to help you, okay? By the way, what about your little brother? I left him at Mr. Owen's abandoned shop. He had been crying since morning. Hey, uh, he needs to be breastfed. Have you given him anything? I only gave him water. Her stepmother was in the school earlier to inform the school authority that they were missing. Don't you think? They will only contact her again. Not when she told them what she told them. <laughs> you think they will believe her? They will send her home. No, I don't want to go home. You are not going home now.
Then what can the police do for you? So we have a case to report. <laughs> a case to report? Yes. Okay. I'm listening. We ran into a classmate who was declared missing at the early hours of today. She told us how her stepmother arranged with some people to come and kidnap her and... Wait! What is her name? Ejiro Nancy. You mean you saw Nancy and the baby? How come you know about the baby? We have not told you that. Yes. The case is in our case file, as I'm talking to you now. Fortunately, I'm the person directly in charge of the case. Huh? So, let's go and show me where they are. But, are you the only one who's going to follow us? What of others? Yes, don't worry. Yeah, it's a fans. I will get Nancy and the... To the end of the road. Yes. Thank you very much for taking such a good step. Yeah? But I want to know your full names and your addresses. My name is Joshua Koro. I live at number 30 Goshen Road. Goshen Road. Hello? My name is Caleb Daniels, 75 Isogo Street, GRA. GRA. Nancy, are you ready? Let's go. Then let's get into my car. The Nigerian police will be very, very careful of what you just said. Eh? Just keep it up. Hello. Madam. It's me. Madam. It's me now, Sergeant Dawson. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Any news? Yes! I told you you can always count on me. I have them now in my car. Wait, you mean? Nancy and the baby? Yes. <laughs> so why is the field of the exchange? Your house or your... No. Don't bring them to my house. Drive straight up the bush. Just wait for me at that place where three roads meet. I will not surely be there. With my money? Of course, with your money. <laughs> okay. I will give you double. Hope you no one insults me. Hope you no one insults me. You go give me but on the double. So so how do I believe you? Don't be like that now. Just trust me. See, I have a sucking baby at home. Let me go and breastfeed him. See my my, my breast now. It is dripping some milk fluid. 
comme madame nous de chemin latino de chemin latino et gain non laissez pour une information jimmy and the boys are after your kids you would have been long dead yesterday they were very lucky i tell you they would not be that lucky this time hi please call jimmy call him back whatever he asks i will give him provided he spends my children well, madam, I think it's pretty too late. It's too late. They had a cry. Hey! Hey! God! <laughs> the defender of the defenseless! I'll stop telling in times of trouble. Ah. Don't let the will of Linda be done. So relax, you're in the safe hands. What are we doing here? Relax, you are in the safe hands now. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Brother, can I go and buy some water at that kiosk you let down for my baby brother? He's very hungry. He needs some water. That far distance? That is the only place I saw a kiosk where water could be sold. Oh yeah. Just wait here, let me go and buy the water for you. Let your child play. What is it then? It is called gas dilutant. Gas dilutant? Yep. Whenever there is an ad release of gaseous film in the air, once you have this in your mouth, the gas won't have any effect on your eyes or your nose or your mouth. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Do you know what is called tear gas? Yes, now. The police use it to dismiss crowd that are protesting. Exactly. Once you have this in your mouth, no amount of tear gas will have effect on your nose or your ear or your mouth or anything. Caleb, who's teaching you all these things? Uh, that's what my father deals on. Besides, this is a new product in town. Hey, wait a minute. I'm coming.
is this? I just remembered my daddy came back from the supply to CPS with two tins of tear gas. Now, can we do some practical? This is magic. I told you. I told you. There's a little girl out there crying. She's looking for you. She said her name is Nancy. Nancy? Oh my God. <laughs> that policeman was evil. He wanted to hand us over to the kidnappers. <laughs> Wait. How can a police do such a thing? But, but Nancy. How did you know that? Instead of heading to the police station as he promised, he took us to a very bushy place and started acting strange. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please, can we stay in your house? Um, stay in my house? Um, I don't think my parents will quite understand us, you know. I think the best thing to do here is to take this matter to our pastor. You know, we all attend the same church. And our pastor will be in the best position to help both you. And the baby. Yes, that's a very good point. I'm afraid I can't trust anybody now. Forget about the police incidents. We are talking about the man of God here. If you can't trust God, then who will you trust? Eh? Nancy, let's go at once now. No. Let her eat in our house first. She looks perplexed. I'm not hungry. Just, so, just get some water for my baby brother. You two have to eat. You haven't eaten since. believe this. Kidnapping are becoming the order of these days in this country. And that is a real change of dimension from the very rich men now to their kids. The problem is that these men don't think like us. I am going, you know, because these people will kidnap me. Hello. Uh, madam, uh, I have here with me the object of your interest. Are you sure? I told you that I'm a professional. I'm a problem good in this job. Thank you very much. Can you give the phone to Jimmy? Okay. She wants to speak with you. All right. Madam, let me be so. Let me be this. Hello, Jimmy. Madam, let me be this. Don't take chances this time around. Once the deal is done, just drive straight to my house with uh, Sergeant Dota. I will give you your balances. All right, madam. I don't hear you. Ah! <laughs> 